Hi and welcome to A Punk With Toys. My name is Lawrence and today we're going to take a look at the G.I. Joe Classified Firefly. Now I've heard people call this version 2 because of that guy over there. But really this is version 1. This is based off the O-Ring version 1. So I'm going to refer to it as version 1 because clearly it's meant to be the O-Ring version. Um, so clearly you can tell. We're going to uh, compare it to the Culver Island and then we'll also compare it might not be able to see him. He's kind of camouflaged in there. The O-ring version. But anyway, let's look at this really quick. Again, I'm not really sure what the Easter eggs are in the background, if there are any. But here you have a wonderful looking firefly, at least from what we can see on this um, image shot of it. With this explosion in the background, he's got his little RC car. Uh, here is the accessories that he comes with. And again, some wonderful, wonderful artwork. And here he is on the side number 84. Again, that's Herman Moore's number from the Detroit Lions. I only know that because I happen to be leaving the client and realized, oh, hey, look, there's Herman Moore. Now I understand Team 84 for that, uh, <laughs> for that company right there. <laughs> so anyway, there he is right there. Uh, some other types of optics. I'm wondering if everything will be universal between these two. So here we have the file card. Again, I'm not going to go over it. You know my feelings on the file card. And on the back here, again, Cobra symbol, the face, everything that he has, the height of the actual figure, and again, my special Thailand sticker, because that's where I got it from. But anyway, let's not look at this, or this, but let's look at what's on the inside, and compare these two, and see if this is a better version than that. Not gonna lie, I do like the Cobra Island one, but... I wanted this one. So anyway, before we start and do that, if you like the content that I'm giving you, I know I say this all the time, take a second, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, hit that bell notification so you're notified every time I do drop a G.I. Joe video. And believe me, the likes go really, really far. So do the, so the subscriptions to a point. Anyway, enough of that. All right, so out of the... Out of a plastic free prison, I gotta say this, I popped them over, I flipped them over, and honest to God, I just looked at the face up and went, oh my gosh, this looks amazing. So, again, artwork on the inside where he's, on, where he's at, he now has plastic clips or ties on it. Go back to what you went to, uh, they were way easier to snip off. Again, G.I. Joe team just making it a little bit better, uh, showing a little bit of care uh locker firefly 84 upside down cobra symbol upside down cobra 84 again i've talked about this it's there all right so i'm just gonna move this figure because i really can't wait to take a good hard look at it so quickly here is the let's not lose anything so here is the little rc car that he has it does have wheels that spin all independently uh it is a softer well, it's just a regular plastic so the wheels do spin but they're not gonna they're not gonna roll on something like this you're gonna have it have it on carpet but they actually will spin so it does have a nice little touch to it again you have his green now his gun is not green but this is the color of the original o-ring i mean it's pretty close to be honest um so that's a nice little touch it does have some detail just like some sort of regular remote control and again i would assume this is some sort of explosive put that over there and let's see what else do we have here we gotta have stuff to control it right so here's the remote control i just have a small little paint app i feel like i'm gonna lose this so you got the handle anyone that's messed with uh some of the cheaper RC cars, maybe the, the high-end ones are, you know, you hold it, you kind of move it back and forth. So nice little touch to it. I can't wait to see how this plugs in, how it fits it, everything. And then, oops. So here's his backpack. Now let's pull the backpack off of the original. I'm going to say these are not all that close, <laughs> but you can tell there is a lot to be looked at. Now I'm missing the cover for it. Where on the original, this was supposed to fold it down. That's how it was on the actual artwork. But it just popped off. I do not have that, nor do I have the uh, radio, unfortunately. So looking at it here, you know, they gave him some uh, some grenades there. Got some pouches at the top. 
I guess they did a decent job of making it look pretty close. Uh, it looks like he has some sort of tank on the bottom. Now, uh, you can go back and watch my... It also has the handle. I never really realized it's supposed to be a handle for him to hold, hold but they redid it over on this one. Uh, if you go look at the gridiron one that I did, you can see that, that loadout for the Firefly, and it looks really, really sharp. Uh, he comes with some night vision goggles. These are different than what came with the Cobra Island one. These ones are actually going you know, to over his head. And you're going to have red, green. And they definitely give you some nice little detail to it. So it does look really nice. But I don't need that. Only because it looked really good. Just when I pop that thing out. All right. So he does have a black knife. No paint apps to it. It looks pretty nice. It got some detail on the handle. So everything here looks pretty sharp. And let's see. It's flimsy, but again, it does stay straight. As long as it's staying straight, I don't care that it's flimsy. Here is his submachine gun. I really wanted this submachine gun. And I'm going to say we didn't get this, but I'm not going to complain because I'm okay with there being a change and stuff. So here is the magazine for it. And usually they just plug in one, one way. So, some machine gun, and then you have the suppressor, which is, that was the wrong way. All right, so there's a suppressor on it. Looks nice. It definitely looks more like Beach's, Beachhead's gun than Firefly's gun, so, because it looks absolutely nothing uh, like this one, but looks a lot like Beachhead's. With a suppressor on it. The suppressor does give it that feel of this. Again, I'm not mad about it. But if you're going to give me a classic one. Why didn't you give me this? Anyway. That's me just whining and crying. But Then you have the pistol. Uh, this pistol looks like it is a new pistol. Now the one thing that I don't like about it is. It's meant to have, it's meant to have the suppressor put on it. So this just doesn't look right. I would rather have a port there. So you can put the suppressor in there and pop it directly in it. Because again, with the suppressor, you don't want to see muzzle flashes. But the pistol looks pretty good. But if it looked like that, it would just look that much better. Any of the guns that have the, they have the, the shaft here, I can't believe I said that, to put the suppressor on, I, I, think, you're, I think they're missing the point of it. And then what I do believe are some landmines. He has two of them. So there they are. Now, quickly looking at this, you know, you have this wonderful backpack here. I really do think this is a wonderful backpack. Um, they put nice paint apps into it. I'm wondering how easily we could, you know, swap some of these parts. I hope you can because these are two wonderful looking figures right away. And again, you have the drone up this, you know, you have the drone up here, if you have the Cobra Island one. But now let's look at this figure. And we got to raise this. Let's raise that bad boy up. And let's just look at this face sculpt before I even start going into that articulation. And that thing just looks super, super sharp. I was absolutely, like, this is like just recreating... The comic. Now, it doesn't look so much like the O-ring, but it's, I don't know. Like, I looked at it, and I'm like, that is exactly how Firefly is supposed to look. I can't say it any other way. I can't look at it any other way. That is how Firefly is supposed to look. So, quickly, let's take a look at the articulation. You got the head that moves up and down, and the head and the neck both do move. Doesn't get a lot of articulation, as I can tell here only going to move so far and unfortunately i wish i could really look up a little more that's as far as he's going to look up that's how he's going to look down that's a little disappointing but oh well he has his ab crunch here you have your key pose this figure feels really the ab is loose as we can kind of see everything else looks really good but the ab crunch is really really loose it makes me wonder what 
what buck is this built on? But that's a very loose ab. Okay. We'll talk about that later. Bicep swivel. Pinless double joints on the elbows. Again, right out of the box. Straight from Taiwan. Or Thailand, Taiwan. One of, the, one of them, I don't know. Here you have your wrist articulation. He does twist back and forth. This one's really easy to twist, but again, really loose. There you go. You got your Jean-Claude Van Damme, which is a drop-down hip. I gotta say, the drop-down hips do not drop down as much as they used to. And I don't have a problem with it because I think this, again, I mentioned it before, I think it will eventually cause a problem. You got your thigh swivel, double knee joints, pinless, boot cut, ankle rocker. And again, if you have any figures, I will reiterate this. If you have any figures, okay, and something is tight, do not be He-Man. Throw it in some hot water, not boiling, just some hot water. Hit it with a blow dryer, heat gun if you have it. Don't overdo it with the heat gun. It's okay. Some of these collectibles need to be heated to loosen the joints. All right, so oddly enough, this figure kind of has a very solid feel. More than some of the other ones. There's not a gumminess. But that kind of affects the ab crunch. Now, it doesn't bother me all that much with the ab crunch because he's going to be positioned in a specific way. And he can stand straight up because he locks and he can bend over like this and he can look back. But I definitely would like his tighter. That is definitely an issue. And that's what she said. <laughs> all right. Pistol. We're throwing the holster really quick. Is there anything else? He has a knife goes up here. Kind of like the alley viper. Which can easily get in the way. So now let's compare him to our original O-ring. And see if he really is version 1 classified. That sounds really weird. Alright, so quickly looking at it. We looked at the heads already. Um, not the same, but I think it looks so much better. Uh, you have the three grenades along his bandolier. You got his pouches. See, even Roman agrees. You got his pouches over on this side. The cobra symbol is over on this arm. They moved it over onto the left arm. I don't have a problem with that. They did give him a gauntlet. And they gave him some elbow pads. He's got the camouflage. A little bit lighter than this one. Again, to me, that is not a big deal. They give him smoke grenades on his belt. Where they did the pouches. He does have a sidearm on this leg, which they decided to give him here. Over here, they just gave him what looks like some dynamite. Or is that money? Who knows? It's probably dynamite or some sort of pouch. If you know what it is, tell me in the, uh, in the description. The boots, they did gray. Now you can see his boots here. They're kind of buckles. They did uh, straps here, but they do have what looks somewhat like buckles or straps that go around. Again, nice creation of the exact same figure. Even the shirt underneath it here, you can see he's wearing the same type of sweatshirt. On the back, you have the cross. So again, Looks <laughs> looks really nice. Now, to take a look at it compared to this guy over here. And I know people didn't like this figure. Um, they have an issue with... Yeah, I know. They have an issue with the bomb vest. I guess I understand he's supposed to be a saboteur. He's in, he's out. This is going to stop stuff. Make him so he can't move as well. I get it, but I still think this is a wonderful, wonderful looking figure. Um, and if you don't like it, you don't like it, nah, no big deal. I'm not going to lose any sleep over it, and you're probably not going to lose any sleep that I don't. So I'm going to pop the head off really quick. And I'm going to tell you that the head's not going to fit. And the only reason why I say that is because this is the smaller dumbbell. So if I pop this head off here, which I've actually never done before, I'm not even going to do it because I'm not going to heat it up right now. Um... I don't know if it's going to work. So, we're going to push him to the side. We're going to mess around with it in a little bit. Let's arm this guy. So, we're going to plug the backpack in here. Again, it does have the port here. So, if you want to plug the 
some machine gun into it, you can. Here are the night optics. They look really good. I think that really, that works pretty well there. Now they gave them the landmines. So here, see that? That plugs into the back, which is pretty damn cool. The landmines, I'm gonna assume, plug right into the side here. I guess this is very module that you're gonna hold everything. And then we have to figure out where this goes. And I'll pop this off here. I don't see anywhere on his person that he can carry it, right? Is it anywhere on his person? No, so I was just looking to see if there's anything that recreates this. But again, they did the green, which is supposed to give you the idea of his green submachine gun and his green Zach Morris uh, foam that he had. So back to this here. Kind of wish they would. these could open up. I don't see anywhere that I can put this. So if you know where it goes in the comments, drop it. Um, tell me what you think. Tell me what I'm missing. All right, so... Let's throw this on here. Oh, you know what we forgot to look at? The straightness of the gun. So looking at the gun here, it's straight. It is soft. Again, it could use a little bit harder of a durometer. Uh, there's no doubt about that. But it is straight. It doesn't look like it's going to bend like some of the other, uh, other weapons that easily... Ooh, some hiccups there. So let's just throw this on here. And... Let's see how he can kind of. So, again, as I mentioned in the other videos, if you want to get him in a good shooting pose, any figures, for the most part, you want to bend the elbow here. All right? This way, you have a longer spot here to get crossed like that. So, easily, I can pose him. I really don't want to pull out his hand right now, open it up. I'm going to look at a few other things. So I think this looks pretty sharp. I'm really happy with just how he looks in general. Let's take these off here. And again, look at that face sculpt. So let's pop these off. And let's see if he can pop. So it is going to be a tight fit. But if I want, I can squeeze these over. So he's going to have different types of binoculars. Again, it's cool. You can have two different types of fireflies. Or you can make a whole, a whole new figure on your own. So those do fit. These fit him. They're a little loose, but the top piece is going to make it so you can put it on probably most of the classified figures. I do want to get these off here. Let's pop this off. Let's see how this drone... And backpack look so here we have a different look with firefly if you want to have him using one of these drones if you do have the uh, cobra island firefly again i think this looks really nice maybe you really like this one but you want to change it up here the colors are pretty damn close that gray matches pretty well Let's pop this off here. Let's just take this gun here. And now we have a more classic looking gun. Now I don't use his gun. It's one of the few guns that I don't mind, <laughs> but I think it's still not the greatest. So there it is, man. Like this figure is really sharp. I am. I am super happy with it. I like the fact that they gave the RC car and then you also get the drone with the uh, Cobra Island one. So you can have a lot of fun, a lot of mixing and matching. I'll be doing some pictures with this um, outside of this area for you, Ed. I'm going to I'm gonna venture outside of my little box here. So anyway, all right, that's it. I don't know what else there is to show you again. Remote control looks pretty nice. 
Uh, the pistol here, again, it's made, so you're going to throw this suppressor on it. Doesn't look bad, but again, when it's like that, I just don't like it. So, once the suppressor on it, looks pretty good, but then you have this submachine gun that just doesn't look right. All right. I'm not sure what else there is. I feel like I've been missing all kinds of things. I've done so many videos. Uh, the gauntlet's a nice little touch, but you can pop that off if you want to have a more conventional... Uh... Oh, you know what? Here. So, hold on. He does have a knife, so that's why the knife sheath is over here. And then, looking at it, it, it just blends in so well there. He did have something, some sort of gauntlet on his original O-ring. So that is the reason why they did it. Again, they've done so much to make things like the original because so many people whined and cried about not getting exactly the same O-ring figure. Um, that they're doing a wonderful job. But again, this figure, if you don't know, has one of the greatest, has one of the best face sculpts they've done. That eye being just beat up and mashed up. So it does make it so this can be a different figure, different character if you want. Why am I rambling on? I've shown you everything. Let's finish this. All right, final thoughts on this Firefly is, other than the ab crunch, amazing. Perfect. What you would want in a V1 Firefly. Again, I don't hate the Cobra Island one. I think it's an absolute wonderful figure and people will argue with me. I don't really care. It's my opinion. This one here, this was my number one that I was waiting for uh, when I was on a toy kind of mood. Nothing has changed. I think this thing looks amazing. You saw the comparison to the O-ring. It fits. It does exactly what people want. Again, would it have been nice to give us the green submachine gun? Sure, but I don't need an exact replica. And as you can see, I even have them pretty much on one foot, even with that looser ab crunch. So it doesn't really affect it, but again, it is something that I wish was short up. So I have very few complaints about this. You can watch the review again if you need to know, but that's my opinion on this one. All right, so there you have it. Firefly V1. I don't know. What, I, what the hell am I doing? That's Firefly V1, okay? You got my opinion of it. I'm not going to continue to go on to it. But again, if you're here this long, take a second. Social media. I know you guys, I tell you guys all the time, but it definitely does help out. Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, A Punk With Toys, the Facebook group page, which is actually growing. People are finally starting to find it. Punks With Toys, because once you join, you're a punk with toys. Even Roman is saying it. You can hear him whining and crying because you know what he wants. You want to go outside? Want to go outside? Go outside. He's looking at me. He wants to go out, but I'm going to get out of here. But you stayed this long. Take a second, please. It helps the algorithm so much. Hit the subscribe button. Hit that like button. Hit that bell notification so you're notified every time I do drop another Jack Joe video. I'm talking really, really fast right now. <laughs> this dog wants to go out. We got to let him out. But anyway, you just stayed this long. Don't go anywhere. Up here is low light. And right here is the classified playlist of every figure that I reviewed, which... I do believe is every single figure that I've got in my hands on, which is every single figure so far. Take care.